Bernie didn't lose. The American election system lost. If these elections had not thrown roadblocks up at every step, I am firmly certain that Bernie would win. And the reason I know that is from the national polling. There's about 10% more support for Bernie than Hillary against Trump. So this is, you want to go through a convoluted mental process about this, but fundamentally, only people that pass an ideological purity test, that is, who are part of the establishment are allowed to run for president. So it's really like Iran or the Soviet Union, uh, because it's impossible uh, so far for anyone who's not a Republican or Democrat to become president. Uh, and virtually impossible to even be, uh, uh, enter the Congress. So what do we have to do about this? We, uh, in a caucus, you can vote, uh, and it is publicly known who is voting. And you will notice that in caucuses, uh, Bernie Sanders won overwhelmingly. <clears throat> and now part of the reason for that is because it is harder to cheat in a caucus, in my view. Um, I didn't see problems with caucuses of long waits uh, in the same way that uh, you had these problems at polling places. Uh, of course, not as many people turned out, it is true, proportionately. So what that tells us is that the secret vote is not a requirement. In fact, when I don't trust voting machines at all, I work on computers and networks and have been doing that for uh, 26 years plus 10 years before that in a related industry. So I have no trust whatsoever in computer voting as it's constructed currently. That voting would have to be uh, using open source. It would have to be inspectable at any time. There would have to be redundant check systems that were independent from uh, these precinct people. So I want to tell you a little horror story. Uh, I only know one person who actually uh, uh, supervised an election in this cycle who I've spoken to. Uh, actually, maybe there were two other people at the party last night, but as far as I know, Bruce was the only one, and he saw the head of the uh, local precinct uh, stuffing ballots, three ballots in for Clinton, and then she asked him, I need to be alone with the ballot box so that I can illegally cut the seal and count the votes. Um, this, uh, I have no reason to suspect Bruce would make this up, and he did file a federal charge, a federal complaint. So the simple solution is that we need to uh, declare who we're voting for publicly because we've lost our uh, ability to vote. Um, a good friend of mine who's an ardent Bernie supporter mailed in his ballot, and it was never counted. Um, I received a ballot uh, for um, my office, mysteriously, and had to re-register twice to get it to come to my house. One of my daughters mailed in a registration, never received a reply. Um, uh, in uh, Alameda County, uh, we had a 38% turnout with Democrats and only a 6% turnout with Independents. Here in Montana, a lot of people mistakenly registered with the American Independent Party you know, three or four percent of the voters, um, because the American Independent Party wouldn't make any sense for Monterans. There was one libertarian in Montera on the voting uh, tape, maybe two, uh, and then we have just on one of the voting tapes three AIP people. Uh, so we've got to just create a virtual election online. That is, we need to people need to declare who they want to vote for. It needs to be independent of the system, and it will have to be public. There's, but there can be two uh, uh, legs or two uh, steps. You can use something like your Facebook account or uh, email address to represent that you support a candidate, or you could go on anonymously with some sort of seed information. You could have two sets. People who don't want to uh, lose contracts and contacts in business might have to go online anonymously, uh, but the vast majority of people are willing to declare their support openly. So in this way, we could demonstrate that Bernie had 20 or 30 million or 40 million supporters, uh, far more than uh, Clinton or Trump. And so what we really need is to, in the beginning, and, and you could make this case for whatever candidate who is uh, up against the system, uh, we need to get the Greens, the Libertarians, the Progressives, 
uh, and uh, right-thinking Democrats and Republicans to focus on cleaning up our elections, on fair trade, on peace, and on restoring social mobility. Uh, issues that are relatively appealed to maybe 70% of the American people, things like uh, universal health care, that might be a different sort of working group, so to speak. Not everyone is going to buy into that. Uh, so the libertarian Gary Johnson wants us to have better competition in medicine. We'd be the only country that uh, followed that route. Uh, we know that uh, health care costs are about half as much in other countries. So there's no necessity. We, we would probably be better off going to universal health care first and then experimenting with things like competition. Uh, so we can first cut our health care costs in half demonstrably based on proven models. And then we can try an experimental model where we try to force uh, price competition in medicine. Uh, so... Uh, uh, so there's one tier, electoral integrity, which uh, a lot of people will sign up for. The way we accomplish this is through privately running uh, a registry. Uh, the second tier is to deal on issues that have broad support, both of the right and the left, that are essentially against the 1% uh, controlling everything. Uh, my name is Alexander Hagen. Uh, good night and good luck.